it's backseat drivers time good evening and welcome to the second backseat drivers of 2024 um we've we've had a long break uh again for reasons um yeah i think some of us had we, we, we went on a gap year when uh this guy i broke my arm and then got replaced by uh a young new zealander and you just couldn't be bothered <laughs> well yeah there's been a few things going on um last week i had no voice which was fun well actually i my voice was going on thursday night and uh yeah i had no voice on friday which was fun for and some i suggested i could do both voices and that went well, down <laughs> um the the previous week i was still at the uh grand prix at this point uh it was yeah around eight o'clock that i actually walked out of our park so i uh, didn't get home until a lot later uh, yeah we the the funny thing well i was i was uh in the pits talking to some people and um we started walking out and someone goes ah the gates shut at 7 30 how are we going to get out of here <laughs> um a, f a few people uh, as we looked around there was a lot of mechanics and stuff still in the pits and we kind of went well these people have got to get out somehow so uh we we've got to be able to get out uh which yeah i think it was just more they, that was shut as in people, they have people in. going around saying you don't need to go home but you can't stay here kind of thing uh i actually thought about that and i did wonder if you kind of um went and tried to camp out somewhere there like say if you had a thursday general admission ticket and oh, yeah, yeah. And, and ended up um kind of sneaking through and camping out uh um, in some bushes yeah because it is a big venue in that um i do wonder how yeah but they if they do kind of go around looking for people maybe hiding under a grandstand or something like that um, i'm just saying dave youtube video next year can matt and rob hide in some bushes <laughs> and get three tickets to the grand prix yeah yeah so don't um, be scared of that he's a he's a race official now he'll know my secrets yes so, yes well, i'm definitely so I, not doing that but if, i'm definitely if, doing that if officials uh get in and out for free do you do you think we just need a t-shirt because i've got a um a t-shirt of official. a sporting ground well i've got a t-shirt of a um sporting ground that i visit a lot and i actually walked up to a restricted area which i had a ticket to yeah. thanks to Bobby, and the man didn't even ask to see my ticket because he assumed the t-shirt i was wearing meant that i worked <laughs> there so um next time i visit that very large ground in melbourne uh hey. i will i'll be wearing that t-shirt i think and try to uh, yeah just way in. <laughs> it's it's funny with some of it yeah like what you can get away with at times uh in certain places and then yeah what you can't a ladder and a blue road shirt dave i've got both we could get yeah in. Next year, we just get we just bring my ladder i've got i've got a couple of fluoro jackets that i've got from uh uh brothers of mates and um we can just walk in we're just like you know i'm mm. just here for maca or whatever you just walk through dump the ladder somewhere and then away we go also will there be a team next year do you think that has fluoro yellow or do you reckon we'll just go orange for mclaren because we want to uh, see <laughs> and then i'm uh, not sure in. the yeah uh we got the the fluoro green this year that's with the i'm gonna say the i don't mind it i i actually think it looks like a 1980s car ad for a company mm. that's just like if you didn't know much about f1 you'd look at it and go pick one of these cars which looks suspicious and you're like well i know what red bull is i drink that i know mercedes <laughs> fancy car everyone knows ferrari then you get to the back of the grid and you're like, what's a Haas? No idea, but looks legit. You then get mm. to this fluoro green car that just got made up. You know, you used to play the games that didn't have the license name. Oh, look, yeah. it's 
it's John Schumacher. You know, he's that famous driver for the the Red Horse team. That's as close <laughs> as I can get. I don't want yeah. to call it anything else. <laughs> the kick, the kick stake. Yeah, it Grand just, Prix. What what's their full their full name? Because they weren't allowed the full name in Melbourne, were they? Uh, yeah, it depends on where they are. So because one of them is a gambling, I think it's stakes gambling. Yeah. So you're not allowed, which is weird because you get a lot of, um, I thought Melbourne, you were allowed to advertise gambling. You can't, oh no, they're getting, they're getting At a bit more. Sporting, maybe. At sporting I, you can't. Yeah, I, like I see a lot of um, gambling ads on like YouTube and uh, oh, no, no. KO and that. The point is, you're allowed gambling ads during the game at the start of the game. Yeah, at certain times. So at the start of sporting events I watch, they will cut yep. and they'll be like, hey, look, everyone, it's Nico Rosberg. He's the sports bet sporting director. And you're like, no, he's not. Anyway, he'll sit there and go, oh, you know, good money's on Max Verstappen. Let's have a look at the board. And then at the rest of the game, there'll be no, like, gambling stuff. And then they'll cut to the end of it, and he'll mm. be like, oh, you would have lost money on that race. Oh, well, there's always next week. Why don't you put a put a tenner down that Max will win? He can't lose two races in a row. Because that's how gambling works. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I, I don't know quite on the rules, but I think he was one of the... Maybe you're not allowed to advertise on, say, like in other sports, like you're not allowed to put um, gambling on the jumpers and things like that. Yeah, there's some. So that would probably be where you couldn't put the stake on the actual car. Yeah, I guess I guess it's also a certain time you can't gamble because then the kids will see it and be like, yeah. My uh, mum, I want to put a ten dollar multi on uh, Max to win. Whoa, a scooter's already um coming out of the gates. Max and Charles crash in Japan. They they it's need easy. to be next to each other on the track though to actually crash. Yeah, that's that's kind of impossible if Max is going to be up front and Charles is going to be sixth or yeah. seventh. Yeah, the, so, the second best Ferrari driver. <laughs> McLaren won two. Now, he screwed up. I've got to ask, is this because Lando's going to retire after he gets his one win and he's just done? Or does Oscar get it? Because let's be, let's be honest, there's one on that team, there is one driver who's going to win a race and then there's Lando. Because... <laughs> Poor Lando. Yeah. Well, At least he has podiums, unlike... Yeah. I Who think we've we'll been drinking... I don't think, yeah. again, I feel like Yuki's under way too much pressure. And I think anyone that's not in the top 10 ne will never really get their home win. Like, I don't think we're ever going to see uh, the Forgotten Chinaman win in China. Yuki's never going to get a podium in Japan. You know, Dan came very close to getting his podium. And then what happened? He had too much Ron 98 in the tank or something. Yeah, the the fuel the fuel flow regulator was uh, they were not exactly bypassing it, but they were doing fun stuff with it. But isn't that one of those rules you told me, Dave? Where it's like you've not exactly broken the rule, and we're not happy that you've worked your way around it. You can get away with it this time, yeah. but next time you definitely need to have it fixed. I think. Because the you had the fuel flow regulator saying you couldn't use, I think it was um, any more than uh, 100 litres an hour. And the pro, the rule was that you weren't allowed to use any more than 100 litres an hour. And then they had the, um, the sensor or the regulator or whatever that covered that off, or that was supposed to cover that off. And the thing was that they were actually storing it further down the line so that they could run at a higher rate. So I don't... Like you've just outsmarted the FIA again and you yeah. didn't order for that kind so, of issue. I think it was hard as well because I don't think... Because the, the regulator or whatever was supposed to tick it off and say, like, 
yeah, you're either under or over kind of thing. Yeah. So tech, I, it was weird. Like they didn't have proper evidence that they'd done it, but they knew that they'd done it. Yeah, that again, that just sounds so, like yeah. you, you've made a double diffuser. We're not very happy with you, but, you know, good on you, scallywags. Go on yeah. and win yourself a championship. We will let you do it this year. I think also a bit with that one was that Red Bull had figured, hey, we can do this. Let's do it with one car and see what happens. Um, and I think the FIA is like, these guys are pretty smart. We better nip this in the bud before everyone starts to try and find workarounds. What? Yeah, why didn't they just say, look, um, like with the most rules, it's like, all right, Dave's done it. The 19 rest of you, let it be a lesson. You, Dave's got the, well, the podium, but we're not doing it anymore. I think the problem then would be that, say, Ferrari does it at the next round, but differently. You're you can... And oh. then they're like, oh, but you let Red Bull get keep their podium, and we didn't do it the same way. Like, we did it differently. So now well, you need to tell us, don't do it this way, and then we'll stop doing it that way. But we got our you podium. Know I like hearing these stories, Dave, of just people, you know, because I think part of the amusing thing about this <coughs> one is especially hearing, like, uh, I think it's Eddie Irvine and his stories of just, here's a rule. I could have spent two weeks learning how to make a good wing, but instead I spent two weeks skirting around the fact that I don't need to make a new wing. I just need to outsmart this rule. Like, I could do it. The, it's like, you know... <laughs> Being at school, Dave, I could study for this test or I could find a way that I sit next to the smarter person, load my calculator up with answers and just blatantly cheat. Have I learned anything yeah. from this? No, but it's always the more fun way of doing things. Yeah, so you've, you've got the, yeah, the doing it right or yeah, getting creative and working around. I think they should reward that. I reckon if you win a race and they're like, look, we don't know how you did it. We know you weren't meant to do it this way. We're going to let you off with a warning. But if anyone now plays around with the sensor in the fuel, it won't count. Mm. We don't care how you do it. But Dan's now ruined it for everyone this year. You can now find yeah. a way to skirt around the, the rear wing or something. I think they did kind of did that with the Ferrari. Um, whatever Ferrari doing in 2019, I think it was, where... They knew yes. they were doing something for a very long time and then they finally figured out or oh, there was a whistleblower and yeah. it came out it and they kind it, of yeah. went, yeah. And I think they went, right, you got away with it for a long time. Don't do this <laughs> anymore. Here's a quiet fine that you have to pay. Um, yep. Don't worry, we'll give you some more money it. back later because you're Ferrari anyway. So basically yeah. you're losing nothing. Yeah, and um, yeah, and then I think there was probably a bit of a memo that went around to the other engine manufacturers and went, right, this is what Ferrari was doing. Don't anyone get any ideas of uh, <laughs> doing this? Do you but, think like Newey, Newey looked at that and went, no, oh, they've ruined it for the rest of I had this brilliant <laughs> wing going and now you've, you know what? I'm going to rip up all my paper now because obviously I have a computer, so I can't flip a computer. I'm gonna flip the uh, flip my hand drawn notes and mm. and boot off. Maybe he could go to Ferrari. I've been hearing uh, I've been hearing every rumor that yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Every year be the same, but from what, what I understand is Ferrari, Mercedes, and Papa Stroll have all supposedly just walked past him in a paddock somewhere and just get blank check, blank check. And yeah, then I'll just give you what you want. Adrian, so, do, you like, do you like Ferrari? It's yours. You can have nine of them. <laughs> do, do um, you see this one we only make 10 of? We'll give you nine of them, and the other one you can just burn, and then no one else gets it. It's just your card. <laughs> um, yeah, well, the latest rumour is that Papa Stroll's come along with a blank check and offered him all the riches in the world. You know what I see the problem with that, though, Dave? If he went to Ferrari, he would be... Death by committee and wouldn't be able to do anything. If he went to the uh, Yeah. He 
I think Toto would understand that he's just a man that you need to put in a room, give him whatever he needs, give him a year, and then 2026, they dominate, which would be hilarious to see because I'd love to see Lewis just miss out on a title literally by going, I used to work there. I'm... I'm not sure that uh, Masai, like uh, Ferrari would be an issue for him, I think. And I th- I think he'd have similar problems at Mercedes as well. Um, yeah, but he'd have I worse can... problems at Papa Stroll. I reckon Papa Stroll would be too micromanaging. That that would be the hard thing there. I, th- I think, um, though, he's the kind of person who could get in there with Papa Stroll and um, he'd be like, right, but we do this my way like you oh, you go and, i think you'd yeah. be easier for him to do that at like mclaren or papa stroll town and i would because they're, yeah. they're big enough but they're also small enough where adrian could just come in and go everyone knows who i am you sit down i'm going to draw some pictures on a blackboard take notes i'm only doing this once you can have a quick look at my little red notebook it's what you paid yeah. me 80 gazillion dollars for and every every car under the sun that I've ever wanted. Yeah. Um, plus, I get to do a race in the Le Mans 24 hour just for laughs. Just because I'm <laughs> just going to just gonna add stuff to my contract that just lets me go on holidays whenever I want. <laughs> but I would like to see, it'd be the funniest if he's, if Rookie of the Year ends up winning a championship because Adrian Newey just rocks up with a stupid mm. car. Or... Lewis just misses out on his eighth championship because Mercedes now have him. And yeah, supposedly you're going to bring an F2 driver in, Mercedes. There's, um, yeah, Kimi Antonelli. Yeah, and they said that they're going to put him straight into the Mercedes and told him that 2025 is your learner year. And then yeah. no, one, no one cares about 2025 because it's too close to the new engine regulations. And it's just going to oh be a... Uh, what's a, you know what they do in rally where they just slowly go around and work out the track? Yeah. Everyone's just going to potter around, waste some time. In fact, I, I'm going to say 2025 will be the boringest F1 season in years. I I have heard a rumor because Kimmy's 17 at the moment. And he turns 18, I think it's just before Monza. Oh, yeah. I've heard Alex Albon will have a new teammate in Monza. Really? This is. So this, that, I did not expect this on the. Uh, so that he does doesn't make his debut with Mercedes. Oh. So that he, he essentially gets extended free practice for however many rounds are left. Monza onwards, uh, Pro- uh, probably uh, about eighteen on a. Uh, 46 round calendar this year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard they're just doing four races a weekend. It's just they're, yeah. they're doing a tour of Italy and then when well, they come with, to Melbourne, with the sprints and yeah, there's going to be there's going to be a weekend day with just eight sprints starting at 10 o'clock in the morning every hour I, on the hour. Just sprint. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, you know what I heard, Dave Liberty Media, um, when they bought the Moto GP secretly converting F1 into just F1 sprint series. There's going to be a hundred <laughs> sprint series, 10 points to win. And that's all you do. It's just a drag race now. And, and everyone, uh, everyone can compete. <coughs> and, they're, and they're going to bring back monster trucks and re- for America. That actually be a good idea. I just thought of that monster trucks mm. in Vegas. Yeah. I, I'd want <laughs> But uh, yeah, I. So, how many people do you think next year are going to be unemployed? From the current year. Oh. Uh, um. Could you let out. it be known that Dan will still be driving in Miami? We have it. Yeah. Dan. Dan will. Dan will be at. Yeah. Visa RB. Cash you know, app. You know what I kind of think now, Dave, and it's it's mm. sad to think. I want Liam to be driving. Like you see all this footage of him, and he's patiently waiting. You know, he's doing everything right. Even even when Logan had to give up his car, you got to respect him. Like he didn't witch, bitch or complain. 
He basically yep. just said, yep, these things happen, you know, whatever. Dan, I feel like Dan's going to survive every, he's going to be like that guy in the office that just survives every round of redundancies and mm. cuts and stuff because they're like, no, we need him. Don't ask why. And I, I think the, the rumor that Yuki's going to be gone once Honda's gone could also happen. So the I think the key is that Yuki will not be a Red Bull driver. No, he, he's, he's never not, been a Red Bull driver. He is never he's not on the radar, he's not getting promoted. Now they I'm fairly confident that they've made a promise to Liam Lawson that he will be driving something in twenty twenty five. Yeah, they've told him that. Now, you've also then got the most popular driver other than Lewis Hamilton within the team that yeah. part of Visa, Cash App, etc., signing up for is, you know, the package kind of thing. Yeah. So chances are, at just on a pure marketing thing, Dan will be there over Yuki next year. I, I, I think they're going to treat that Cash WhatsApp Jet Force India team if they have Liam and Dan on it, that's just, mm. that's not a racing team. That's just a marketing juggernaut. Like they will get them to do, yeah. if they're together, they will do the most Australian Anzac, like stupid yeah. things. It'll, it'll, it'll be borderline culturally, you know, offensive. Um, you know, Dan will dress up as a kangaroo. Liam will have to dress up as a Kiwi and they'll do wacky sketches together. That's so and, it's essentially bus bros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and then every so often, Max will get involved. And then every so often, I like, have to remind people that Checo's also on the team. And he'll be like, don't forget uh, me. Ca- Color science. <laughs> um, do, you, so do you see yeah. Yuki and Checo just being uh, off the merry-go-round of Red Bull drivers? I right yeah right, right now uh, I'd say yeah you you can check out will be out because I think so they've means, got to make. Do you think Dan's Dan's getting the Red Bull seat or Liam's getting the Red Bull seat? Uh, sides. Oh, so they're going to go. He's yeah. going to leave. So Ferrari's going to have. Um, Ferrari got um, less what's than the name? yeah. Less than Mr. Monaco. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, science, science is available. And there's a big power play happening at Red Bull that Christian looks like he's winning. So it'll yeah. be, fuck you, Verstappens. <laughs> and sign Carlos Sainz is his teammate. And just be that like, be remember, a- remember how yeah. much you fucking hated having science in this team at to- <laughs> in next to him at Tyra Rosso. Oh, fuck you. He's back. Hmm. Don't, yeah, forget who. Yeah. Remember who works Now, for. I'm going to fucking message your girlfriend's dirty pictures. <laughs> I, I reckon that'd be great because I reckon Red Bull will be... I, I, hmm. I genuinely think working at Red Bull would be one of the worst and toxic places to work at right now. And Cash App would have to be just that wacky... You know those companies that like add on to the other companies that don't really make any money, but they're still there because you know yeah. Papa Moneybags runs it, and they're just having fun. Mm. And I, I don't think I think all this news of like Dan's going to lose his seat if he doesn't perform in like a certain amount of time. Mm. I I feel that they will. Yeah, it sounds like they just made up a story because I reckon mm. they've told Dan. Dan probably knows he's there because you you sell stuff people yeah and I, I think the only way you're gonna see dan leave if he makes the decision at the end of the year says i've retired from f1 because if dan if dan gets mm. fired from red bull you red bull lose 50 percent of their fans but if dan yeah, at the end well, of the year says um, i'm done everyone's happy because everyone will think that he left on his own accord yeah and you've they they kind of came out and said, right, the Toro Rosso needs to stand on its own two feet. It's not just a junior team anymore. It's a proper team. We're going and getting proper sponsors. We have proper drivers in there, rah, rah, rah. So part of 
the whole visa and all that signing up would have been that you, oh, we're signing up and we get Dan Ricardo as our billboard. Yeah, kind of thing. it's like so, when you, uh, when you get sponsor, you sponsor, uh, um, you know, these guys. They're like, we've got a two-time champion. And he goes, you've also got yeah. my son. They're like, yeah, no, 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 cool. But when yeah. Fernando and Alonso showing up because we don't need, uh, <laughs> we don't need Lance. You know, can we can we have Fernando and Alonso be the two drivers, <laughs> and you just get rid of Lance? Yeah. You know, there's, there's plenty we'll of seats. We'll send the Dragovich guy along as well because <laughs> you know he won he won the F two championship, so you know he he might he might do something useful. Yeah, he, he must get pressured every day to get rid of his son, right? Like that has to be a people come up oh. and go. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if there's anyone, say, within the team because they'll get fired. No, but I reckon you'd, you'd have um, developmental like drivers from F2 just coming yeah. up going, you know, have you seen have you seen my mate? He just won F2. And he'd be like, yeah, but I don't know if Fernando wants to retire. And they're like, I wasn't talking about Fernando. <laughs> and he's like, what were you talking about? He goes, oh, oh, sorry, I've got a, I've got a phone. I've got to, got to go. And then, he, and then they realise, don't mention that ever again, and it goes down the list. Yeah, I think that that's the problem. If you, yeah, if you suggest that to him, then you would never be considered for the second, for the Alonso you, seat. The, you you'd the get um, seat. whatever whatever the name of that uh, uh, exact um, assistant got uh, got haunted and uh, basically is <laughs> on gardening leave. I, I still am amazed that anyone would want to work there now. Yeah, I, it's a tough. I mean, my my question with that is, it wasn't. It didn't seem that bad. The messages, like, yes, okay, it, it you know, just, but it you didn't know seem you, like he was pressuring. Like, if they were the genuine messages, it didn't seem like he was using his position to. No, you know, but pressure her into what, anything or whatever. I, okay, granted, like there's the whole boss subordinate thing, but um, well, and I didn't read all the messages or anything, but it didn't awkward. It didn't seem like it, it, that. That was the thing. It, it was it was very awkward between them. But it I wasn't think that's a the yeah. That would if if I had sent those messages, I would have rather those messages not been leaked. And I just got like yeah. a fine because, like I said, now people are going to see them and they're going to look at horny horny spies just hmm. a little differently. And I, I think well, I think they he, must have been real because the way Ginger Spice now walks around him, you can sort of tell yeah. that it's like, you know, remember when I let you just wander off for a week? Yeah, it's not happening anymore. You know, you've yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I'm also surprised that he got a Spice Girl with moves like what that. I mean? how, did, like, how did he get a, a Spice Girl yeah. in yeah. chats like that? Yeah. Like, like you can un understand he's got some money and whatever, but it's not like a Spice Girl probably really needs. Yeah, but, all, but also, Dave, it's not like he's an F1 driver. Like F1 drivers no. are cool. Team principals yeah. have not been cool. Since, I mean, Horner and Toto are basically the first ones that have sort of made it a. Yeah, they're the. Yeah. Zach and Gunter. I mean, Zach, Zach wishes he was that cool. Like, you know, he sits there and he, he looks at them <laughs> and he's like, what can I do? Like, at, most of the time he's just like, I'm going to have a go at Christian because then I hope Toto will like me. Whereas I still think Toto and Christian are secret friends, and when they both retire, they are just going to be neighbours and they're just going to yell at each other. <laughs> they're going to be old, old, old men, and it'll be like throw, Toto throw will glass yell at clippings at each other's face. Yeah, it'll be like this is this is for Abu Dhabi twenty twenty one, and then he like throw some things over, and he'll be like let let it go, and he's like no, never. Um. What's his name? Bless still can't get over the he's stolen F one championship. Yeah, and, I don't think he ever will. <laughs> and and you know what? I don't think that I think that's why he's never going to win another championship. He's too focused on mm. the time that he was uh, had a F one championship stolen from him. 
Like yeah. every interview they have, I mean, of course you're an interview, you can ask that question, but every time they ask him, you can tell that he, instead of him saying, oh, I've moved on, whatever, you know, yeah. I've moved on with my hundred million dollars that I have and my mm. seven other world championships that I have. But mm. no, but this one that I didn't get is going to stop me from winning anything anymore because I'm so fixated and Max now lives in my brain rent free. Yeah. Like, like most houses now he lives in rent free, <laughs> you know, and I, and now I can't, I can't win a, another, another race. And it'll, it'll, it'll just constantly seeing Max and hearing Toto yelling out, no, no. The funny thing, he hasn't won a race since that. No. Hmm. He's, and, and I think, um, them crashing out at the um, uh, Australian Open, uh, them like coming last is the first time in like something like sixty races they haven't scored points. Mm. So it's been a when they when they finish. Here we go. Uh, Lewis retired, and George George Russell seventeen. Yeah, what, what did um, that whole the George Russell crashing on the last lap? Oh, that's because Carlos Sainz cursed him. So I just saw this before. <laughs> Every time um, Carlos wins a race, George Russell yeah. crashes. That's right, yeah. Because he's um, won three times and he crashed. Yeah, yeah. But when was the last time Lewis Hamilton won a race? Well, Saudi 2021. Uh, here we go. I think you're right. Yeah, 2021. Hmm. He won three races in a row, actually. Yeah. In, 20, in 2021. Yeah, because he was um, the hot favourite on the charge coming back for the championship. So you telling me that if he'd beaten equal machinery in 2016, we wouldn't be really having this conversation. He would have been in whatever of what he won. Well, actually. yeah, well then, yeah, he would have been bitter that he hadn't won his ninth. But I think the the big thing with the eighth is then he's not equal with Schumacher anymore. I mean, he, look, to me, seven. I don't think he's equal with Schumacher at all, to be fair. I mean, I put him no. um, others above him. I don't. I, I don't think it's yeah. the amount you've won. I'd say it's uh, you know what you've done and how you've well, done it. It was funny. I was listening to something uh, in the last couple of days, and they were basically saying that if you'd won championships with multiple teams, that's um, worth more than say Seb. Vettel, who went and won all of his in a row with one team, and um, I think I think it was to bump up, you know, Hamilton's great achievement yeah. kind of thing. Um, and I, um, I mean, I was just thinking, you, you, you're really then overlooking, say, Schumacher doing over, you know, the, the space of time, how they built Benetton, how they then built Ferrari. Um, and then the, you know, more the competition. Yeah. So Sh well, Schumacher would have never let a teammate come close. Yeah. No. I, I think for, especially when, um, you know, you had the, the hybrid Mercedes, it mm. was basically one of you is going to win it. You just don't have to be, like, as long as you're not yeah. stupid about it, you're going to win the constructors championship. You're going. To, I think what's more important if you won um, championships is when it, you're in a team sport because you've got to bring everyone up. If you're already winning and it's just you, and like you said, it doesn't change much in the uh, eras of like racing. Hmm. If you win, like he won what, 2014 and 2015, you would just assume until they change it again. He's probably just going to win. It's like Max now. I can't to me, as, as well, though, to an extent, like Schumacher it was part of, like, when they were building Benetton, 
He was there as they were building Ferrari. Um, Hamilton <coughs> came into a McLaren already winning, came into a Mercedes that was essentially good to go at that yeah. point. Like he, he had the 2013 year, but essentially everything was geared at 2014 at that point. It's, it's not like he spent, you know, where Schumacher spent five years at Ferrari before he started getting those results. Yeah. He was in the door and bang, we're off. So, anyway, we could argue for days and days and days and not get anywhere on that because then someone will come in and go, well, Jim Clark's the best and he only ever won with Lotus. So, what about Jack Brabham? He built his own car and won. Well, yeah. I was going to say... Is that the thing, ultimate... The one thing, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the ones that used to build their own cars yeah. just seem bonkers. Like hmm. McLaren himself. Yeah. You know, the, the one, McLaren, the one McLaren yeah. never won the championship, though, as, like, a, a driver at the time. Yeah, but, um, like, that's still, was, still yeah. very impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit different these days. You don't see uh, Rookie of the Year out there with a pen and pad <laughs> designing his own I, I would love to. But the thing is, they don't, you can't really do that these days, can you? There's like the days of, you know, bringing a team. But it's, a, know, it's even like if you take Newey out of Red Bull right now, it's not like they just drop away next year. No. Like they, there's a, a lot more people in there with, you know, ingrained knowledge. Um, the the big issue that Red Bull are going to face over the next few years is the Red Bull powertrain slash Ford power plant. Whether that's good enough, it's it's not right. uh, an aerodynamic issue that they're going to have. I don't think. Yeah. So what's going to ha- like? Do they know? They can't do any testing with the new powertrain, can they? Uh, not not in the car yet. Only so, time, but you can do dyno testing and stuff. So it's it's like an unknown at this point. Yeah, I don't I don't think anyone would have a, um, a full rig up and running. But they do. Uh, I mean, I've heard rumours that essentially Red Bull has a road underneath one of the factories oh. where they can actually d- drive a car <laughs> to, and then you know, test, test, test say, the cooling and things like that. Um, yeah. Whether, yeah. Uh, there's r- risk, rumors. Yeah. yeah, but you will so they, they have, um, or like your dynamometers and that, where they probably have it, like, set up in a chassis and everything nowadays rather than just having it like in an old school kind of engine dyno room um it would be set up a lot more as how it runs in the car and with the cooling and all that kind of stuff because yeah i'd imagine i'd imagine you it's it's a big check i'm i'm assuming though they've ford would have had to show them stuff to say Mm. here's our engine you know well i think because it's actually red bull making the um engine oh okay so with ford, ford providing some funding and assistance with the electrical systems oh yeah so they're not so there's, there's not going to really be um so it's not really a ford engine then or is it just ford like fabrication ford helping yeah is it going um, to be like your parents helping on a science project helping or like, sort of just, <laughs> yeah, know, like put this here, put this piston here. No, don't put it like that. The engine will blow up. We want to win. <laughs> I think it's probably a bit more financial helping than, um, yeah, actual design and things like that. So it'll be a bit like the what Mercedes was originally where it was Ilmore making or designing and making the engines and then Mercedes turning up with a big bag of money and putting their badge on it. And so wait, who with with Ford, a Ford yep. for the um, Red Bull Civil War, 
are they more aligned to Captain Horner or um, I Captain don't I don't think they've uh, picked a side. Well, because they had that announcement where they're like, we're a family t- uh, company, except yeah. for all the stuff we've done. Um, but like, yeah. we want to pretend that we're, you know. I think they were, that was a bit of, oh, we're in shit here. This doesn't look good. So, yeah, yeah we do, we need to I, put out a statement or whatever to yeah, say that we don't approve yeah. of. Yeah, and then and then they saw Max win the first two races and went, eh, you know what, I don't even care yeah. anymore. Yeah, well, whatever. Then we could sweep all this stuff under the rug. <laughs> yeah. The, as long as long as Max uh, wins us a race, we're we're good to go. Yeah, that's it. But perfect. Anyway, I think so, we've yeah. covered everything, haven't we? Yeah, we've done pretty <laughs> well. Um, yeah. Now, Booby's not here. He's told me his uh, podium finish. Um, okay. He spoke to me before. So he yep. he's saying that uh, Oscar's going to win. Yep. Yuki's going to Yuki's going to get a podium. Don't yep. know how but he's getting a podium, and, uh, <laughs> and Lance, is getting, Lance is getting third. Okay. That's yeah. um, sounds believable. That's a, that's similar to um, Rob's bets of um is, but he, it? he yeah. had yuki for the win i think um joe what? for second and yep. um pretty what sure is? he no. uh no the the guy Thank the you. man without a car sergeant sergeant yeah sergeant's uh do you think sergeant's gonna get points this week and albon's not purely to prove to them that they made the wrong decision in australia no. I don't either. I just thought it'd be funny if he did. Yeah. I, I Logan's going to struggle to score any points all year. Who's scoring more points? And it's good that we don't have Rob here, who's a little biased. Will the American score more points than Australia, the Australian? Which Australian? <laughs> one that's, the one that's not going to score as many points. <laughs> Um, I Dan's got a better chance of scoring points at some point because yep. the and the, they'll develop better this year. Williams will get there, but um, it's not going to be this year. And Albon will, yeah, scratch into points once or twice. So you 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 reckon the Americans going to get? Uh, bumped off from his, uh, uh, yeah, and I I wouldn't be surprised if that rumor is true that they've already earmarked. Um, because Antonelli has enough uh super license points as long as he doesn't do anything stupid enough, too. I, I, think, <laughs> I think it's they're gonna have to start doing a a fire sale of F1 drivers because you can't like the problem is you don't want to have 20 drivers that have been there for 10 years and people are like, Oh, look, it's the Max versus Lewis show again. But you don't also want, um, you know, five drivers to leave. And then you have, you know, six or seven kids that have had three years experience. And then you just these back markers who are just going to, no, not bring anything exciting for a while. The, I think. The hard to... thing, yeah. So I was thinking about this the other day, and you've only got twenty drivers in the field, and then you've got guys like uh, Alonso who's been around for twenty years. You got yep. Hamilton coming up for twenty years. Yeah. Um, you got some of these guys that have stuck around for a very long time. There isn't the churn. No. To then, yeah. I mean. What was um, Max made his debut in fifteen? Fifteen. So next year he's grant granted. Um, no, he did the full year in fifteen, wasn't it? Yeah, he started and then, in fifteen. Yeah, so he did. Yeah, he did. Um, he only did FP once in fourteen. So he he'll have done ten years next year. Yep. So I, I think I think unless. 
won a championship in those 10 years. Like, mm. I'm all, as much as I'm not a fan of him, you can keep Lewis. He's won. Mm. And keep Max. Mm. Um, I, I think, though, with Fernando, because he hasn't won a championship in 10 years... No, he's, he's just grandfathered go. in because he's a rookie. He, 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 he's grandfathered in. I think if you score, like, obviously you can keep Lando, you keep Norris, uh, but uh, keep Oscar. But you've got... Um, you keep that. Um, Junior Stroll, has, he's been over 10 years now. I'm They've trying to think. Now, he's, now, yeah, that's the thing. Hey, maybe we should actually do a bit of uh, research on this next week. And then find out who's been here... Well, hmm. we can run through it. Pierre Gasly, he's been there for 80 years. Yeah. Ocon's been there a while. Fernando's been there for 400. Fernando was there when they invented F1. Yeah. Lance has been there for a while. Well, Lance's um, debut was 2013. He's had 148 races. Oh, so maybe he's yeah. only been here for three years. Oh, no, no. Here we go. He started in 2017. Oh, yeah. So he hasn't been running as long as I thought. But that's still seven years. That's so still this a is long eighth. time. That's a, like, for someone who hasn't done much. Well, speaking of not done much, Dave, have you heard of the pairings of Kevin and Nico No Podiums Super Squad? Because uh, Magnuson had a podium in this debut race. I take I take that back because Nico, Dan think, got disqualified and never right. touched the podium again. Um. So, do you know uh, Hulkenberg's number of championships? Zero. Number of wins? <laughs> zero. Podiums? Zero. Zero. <laughs> he has he has five hundred and thirty three points and hmm. nothing really to show for. It. That, that is 200 entries getting 500 mm. points. So on average, he gets two and a half points a race, which means he's just, he's doing enough. He's treading water, Dave. Mm. But it, again, what was his debut? It was 2011, I think. Uh, yo, he was in GP2 in 2019. So All here we go. 2010. Was his debut? There you That's go. That's fourteen years. That's granted. He sat out eleven, I think it was, and then he sat out twenty twenty one. So he's had two periods. He's had two years out, but that's still like well, that's too long for someone who has hasn't really done anything. Well, the forgotten Chinaman, he has been in the team for two two years. I honestly mm. thought he'd been in longer. I I, I genuinely yeah. don't know how. Mm. Bottas has been there for ages. Lando's been yeah. there. I think Lando's at the golden point. That's good. Oscar hasn't been there that long. Lewis has been there again forever. Mm. George Russell feels like he's been there forever, but he hasn't. He just whinges every race and sounds like an old man. Yeah. Dan's been there a long time, understandably. Yuki has been there a Yuki's while. Yuki's only... This is his third year? Oh, is it? I, again, it feels like he's been there a lot long. He's yeah. yelling at race engineers. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, he's I think it's because Rob, Rob talks about him so much. You, you think he's been yeah. in it for like... He was there, yeah. Again, also, I'll tell you what's going to probably keep Dan... Yuki has had 67 career points. He gets an average of one point a race, which means mm. he is Mr. 10. His number should be 10, because that's where he's going to finish most of the time. Um, Max has been there a while. Perez has been there a while. Logan's been mm. there. I mean, he, he won't be there much longer. And Albon's <laughs> been there. Albon's out. Again, Albon's mm. two podiums. Like, as much as people give Dan crap, he's got a decent resume. Mm. You know, eight wins, 32 podiums, 1,300 points. He gets more points than uh, some of the other drivers. 
Mm. Well, also, he's just a more likable person. So I say yeah. you get rid of, you clear off um, the, the house tank. That doesn't need anybody. Just, yeah, this is what you do, Dave. You get a hat, right? You get this hat. You put all the F2 driver's names in this hat. You pull out two names, and then you just tell um, Kevin and Nico, you've both been replaced by two F2 drivers. <coughs> It cannot do any worse, right? Mm. And then, then you get rid of the forgotten Chinaman. I mean, unless he's bringing in millions of dollars to China, no. Nah. You, you maybe get Logan can go. He's not doing anything for the U.S. market. No, nah. you know. I mean, that guy that um, announced uh, Checo at the uh, Vegas thing. Bring him because he's a barrel of fun. Um, you can, yeah, get rid of get rid of Lance. Maybe tell Fernando use your last season train up an F two driver. Yeah, maybe get him to go to F two and say, "Who do you like here? You're going to train him. He's going to drive in 2026. You got one more season because, and then and then someone's going to have to take Lance out back and just say, Lance, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's over. But, it, it it's what what have what have you done? Here we go. Look at this. Hundred four hundred and forty eight races. Hmm. So he's done half the amount of race less than um half the amount of races as Dan's done, but he has a thousand less points. Hmm. I mean yeah, Dan got to run the Red Bulls, but yeah, so but then also Dan has spent a lot of time in bad cars as well. Yeah, so he's obviously done well. I mean, if you look at... This is a good thing about Wikipedia and the colour coding. A lot of Lance's um, colours are not green. They're yeah. not the points colours. They're, mm. you know, dud, dud, dud colours. Mm. Yeah, I, I say you... Every year, you've got to get rid of at least three or four drivers. Hmm. Keep them really? turning. Well, yeah, like you said, there's been 10 years of the same, hmm. you know, the same whole group of people. Yeah. Yeah. You need, you need a bit more churn. And there's there's plenty of races to do it in, Dave. I mean, there's there's 75 races this year. There's a Exactly. Heads. That's the, Yeah. That's probably fact, why it feels like some of these guys have been around for a lot longer. Yeah, I think I think when you look at Lance and it says he's ri driven 148 times, that's only two seconds, Dave. That's yeah. nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what? Another idea, Dave, because there is 942 races. Mm. Next time the race is in, say, Miami, just get junior Miami drivers. Just you've got to pick. You know, free practice. Well, I'd like to see that for the sprint. Yeah. Like where where they have um, more like a, you know, wild card. Kind of, each team has a wild card kind of driver. Like, you know, one of the juniors or something like what, that. Well, you just, on a Thursday, like, you just create free practice zero and mm. you just put your junior kids in. Mm. You know, you, you build even, I mean, some of the smaller teams can't, but like Red Bull could just build like a F1.5, mm. right? And then everyone everyone has an F1.5. It's sort of like F1. They race around on the Thursday. They get a feel for it, and then they can go. Because, mm. you know, then because then you've got poor people like Lewis Hamilton who are complaining that Max is dominating so much, and that's never happened in the sport ever before. And Certainly it's not. not for the sport. <laughs> it's not good for the sport, Dave. If one person keeps winning, it's also, not good when it's Max or Seb. Yeah. Also, unrelated. I would like to win my eighth championship, please. But remember, <laughs> I won them differently. That was a different time. You know, yeah. pe people liked it when I won because everyone likes me, and I'm <laughs> I'm like Mr. F1. I'm interesting. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool and I'm a social justice warrior and I look after the environment. Max yeah. just, it just looks like Max just wants to win F1 races and no one wants that. It's bad yeah. for F1. 
also check out this picture of me wearing like cool shoes and fancy <laughs> uh, <laughs> a fancy outfit. Does Max wear? Um, I've never seen Max do the the grid walk, or like you know when they turn up and Lewis is always wearing like some fancy Hugo Boss outfit. Max yeah, doesn't do that. Max probably turns up in a red bull shirt. Yeah, he's like, this is what I'm wearing. This is the minimum. I check the rules. It says one red bull hat, one red bull shirt. That's it. Now, excuse me. I'm jumping on the simulator. Max, the race yeah. is in 40 minutes. I'm jumping on the simulator. I'll do 20 minutes yeah. here. I'll go down I've, and do media. I've got a Miata Cup race I've got to win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, not everyone else has an iRacing race. I told them that I have an F1. No one believes yeah. it's actually Max Verstappen. So I'm going to quickly <laughs> win this and then head off. And then and then I'm going to go home and race till four in the morning because I'm on a European side. <laughs> He's an absolute menace. Mm. So have we? Oh, have we put in our uh, our, our picks for this week? Uh, who, um, who are we, who are well, we, we got? With? Max is number one, obviously. Um, Do we think Ferrari is going to continue? Uh, yeah. Um, I'd. I don't. Uh, McLaren are going to be strong. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I might go. Lando second. Um. Carlos third and Oscar fourth. I'm going to say Oscar will be winning and he'll follow team orders again and have to go back. And I reckon they're going to do that for like a while until they realize uh, <coughs> maybe, maybe uh, Lando's not the one that we, uh, you know, yeah. do we put all our head out, hedge our bets on. That's all right because they've got backup. As in, uh, Backup cars or backup drivers? Backup driver. They've got Piastri there. If Lando doesn't work, they've got Piastri. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not what Booby said to me. Yeah. I don't know if we... Uh, yeah, this He's looks changed. like... Uh, see, E-Scooter, I trust that one. We'll put that one in. But uh, Booby's one, I'm yeah. pretty sure what he's... He knows that Lance wants to impress his dad, so he's definitely getting a podium. Um, I'm yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Uh, or oh, do I think that Smooth Operator can continue his good form? Yeah. Or do you think he? he or do you think he just got lucky? No, I think he'll continue. Like I, I feel, uh, yeah, I feel like Max is gonna win. He's he's not impressed. I feel like he's just gonna. Uh, mm. Who who are the last people that won? Max, Max, and Valtteri. Yeah, look, I, I feel like Max is just gonna continue his uh his his form, smooth operator, and then. Oh, uh, do you reckon Mercedes have anything, or they're all done? They're done. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Lando will probably take third, only because of team orders. Yeah, I also reckon. I I, yeah. I reckon that Aston will be in front of Mercedes this weekend. Oh, mm -hmm. so you reckon they're gonna be like five and not, six? Not not Lance. But. No, <laughs> no, Dave, Dave, that goes without saying. Lance doesn't count. <laughs> Dave, I, Dave, it's like putting me in the Red Bull car and going Red Bull to win on the weekend. But not you, Matt. You, yeah, I understand yeah. you've got a good car. You're still not winning. You've still yeah, got to have some skills to get the car across the line. Filling Checo's seat. Yeah. Che, Checo got his appendix out because he heard that's uh, that's what helped you yeah, win the yeah. race. So they've chucked you in. I, I would actually love to see... I know this sounds harsh, but I would love Checo to have some sort of medical... Not a major one, an appendix, <laughs> something, and put Liam in the Red Bull, and I would love to see him actually scare Max. That would that would mm. make my day. Like if you actually had Liam, where they had to tell him, 
up a little bit. It's not looking good for us. Just, just a, you know. Oh, I think that'll change this weekend. <laughs> I mean, Eastgood, if you want to. Uh, oh no, you've already set yours, Oscar. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they own one two. I mean, it's a big call. Yeah. I have now, dreams as well. Now, Dave. Yeah. The big call. Who scores? Do cash WhatsApp Red Bull uh, Jet Force Mega Points Racing Yuki Dan team. Do they mm-hmm. score points? Do they both score points? The only one score points. Who scores more points than the other points? <laughs> um. Yeah, I reckon they will because you've you've still got a good chance that someone's not going to finish. So you reckon the only way um, Racing Point Red will get points now is if one of them... Yeah. If one of the higher teams stuffs mm. up. There, there's a gap. So there's... Obviously, there's Max. Yeah. And then there's the, you know... Checo, Ferrari, McLaren, well, well, Mercedes. If Checo's not second, he's F- failed. Fernando. And yeah. then there's Lance. And then well, there's everyone Fernando, else. It's Fernando, then Alonso, Daylight, <laughs> Lance. Yeah. I think even uh, Lewis's dog, Roscoe, would probably be faster than Lance. Yeah. Wait, Max... So, where, so Booby tends to Logan... I feel like E Scooter is uh, drunk or is on like some medical grade Panadol <laughs> right now. You, you know what, E Scooter? If Logan scores points next week, well, he scores points on the weekend. Next week, <coughs> Dave and I will order you a hat, and we'll get a custom made one that says Logan. Logan finished tenth, and all I got was this lousy hat. You heard it first. <laughs> Mark, if that's if Logan gets 10. You know what? If Logan gets points, I will change it to whatever it needs to say. We will go on Vista Print and we'll print you a hat. <laughs> because I would love to see... Look, I'm in, in fact, if Logan even turns up with a car, I'll be surprised. If I was, <laughs> if I was William, I would turn there's, up on Sunday. I think Sunday. there's still a question mark on that. Yeah. You know what I would do, Dave? Just for laugh, I'd go up to him and go, Logan... Um, I hate to do this to you again. And be like, not again. I'm like, ah, only joking. <laughs> <laughs> have they have they fixed it? No, I think they need to build a new chassis, I think. Also, I remember mm. asking you this question ages ago, but they mm. used to have a spare chassis, didn't they? Didn't they? Used to- so, yes, they, they have. Most of the other teams had a spare chassis in Melbourne. Apparently, Williams weren't the only one in that. Position. Were the only ones that went? No, weren't the only. Weren't the oh. only one. Apparently, some of the other teams are. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure which ones, but apparently, not all the teams have their spare chassis ready to go yet. Now, in like say the 80s, early 90s, the teams would they might build 10 cars during the year. I was going to say, of, with with testing and et cetera, et cetera, they, they could build. Now, it's gradually got less and less over the years with the cars getting stronger. Um, you're not having spare cars set up and things like that to where now a lot of the time the teams, you know, the driver might use the same chassis all year. Like, the you know, the team might only build three. But if you're Williams... And I think, I think we looked at it last year, where it's like who who causes the most damage. Mm. If you're Williams, I mean, if I was Williams, I'd say Logan's the one that cost a lot. Third, uh, Checo's done the same. If you were like, yeah. you know, if your name was in the podium, you'd be like Checo. We've bought a spare chassis. Try not to break it. Like, yeah, but we it- can afford, it, but we also can't afford this. So at the moment, like, James Fowles is letting some things fail to highlight the issues that they have. Oh, and, speaking of that, did you hear how yeah. they do their um, 
yeah uh, what's it called asset management for parts it's an yeah. excel word worksheet that is the most amazing thing i've ever heard yeah. from f1 team and it sounded like he didn't know about it and he walked in and said how do i find you know this fault for the 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 break and they're like we've got an excel spreadsheet that must be one of the biggest excel spreadsheets and the most convoluted thing you would have ever yeah seen. i'd i'd say it would be they've been building that for 30 years Yes. Kind of thing. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's been converted from like Windows three point one Excel or whatever. We used and, Lotus one, two, three and we converted yeah. only last week. Yeah. Um yeah. He he has mentioned that there's a, a quite a few things like that where yeah, he like that's we there's a, a lot of building to do here. Because it just been so it far behind like the he, times. Yeah, it's out, it almost like they had an interview with him and the way he spoke, I mean, he's a very calm individual. I like him. Mm. But the way he spoke just sounded like he was teaching a bunch of kids over summer school. He's not angry at them because yeah. they. it's just the way they were brought up. He's just disappointed in how they were brought up. But yeah. I, I, I think as well, like he's come in and they've gone, right, you, you know, you're in charge, you fix this kind of thing. You tell us what you need and we'll give it to you. And he's actually going like, right, this is fucked. We we can continue down this path and muddle through or we reset and, yeah, we're going to be like it's going to screw us over for six months or whatever. But once we get through that pain, the new system is going to be awesome. Yeah. And where you've had people in the past that are like, Oh no no the Excel spreadsheet works like we'll continue down that because we can't lose six months while we you know implement the new system. The, the thing is though, they're at the point now where even if they suck for six months, you wouldn't notice the difference anyway. So yeah, why not exactly? Yeah, and that that's where I think he's doing a really good job. And then um, like this where they didn't have the spare car, that that's highlight like where they're behind and things like that. And then that's quite a visual, like when he, he turns around to the owners or whatever and that and goes, well, fuck, this is why we need to do this properly because we didn't have a spare car ready. We didn't put a car out. Because- well, yeah, and I think I think that's probably what um, would annoy Logan the most too. Because like hmm. if he crashed his car, everyone would have been yeah. like, yeah, Albon gets the car, go nuts. But the fact was... Logan did nothing wrong. And they're probably told, you know, as they yeah. say, we don't have many car parts. Try not to crash mm. it because we are running yeah. on a very limited budget this weekend. We're all the way in Melbourne. We're 10,000 kilometres from, you know, home. Mm. We don't have, you know, we're not in Europe. We can't just go get a yeah. part. Be careful. And then Albon's like, what's this? <laughs> and then- Which, I like, I, I feel really sorry for Logan, but... I I 100% agree with the decision because that, like that single point that um, Magnuson, it was Magnuson, wasn't it, got in Saudi, that's going to make a massive difference at the end of the year because you're only going to have a certain amount of weekends where um, George crashes because he gets too close to Fernando and <laughs> Max breaks <laughs> down and yeah, that, that kind of stuff. Like you, you, there's only going to be a certain amount of times where there is failures like that during the year. So those picking up like those 10th places and that will make a massive difference because you, yeah. you likely get to the end of the year where some of these teams haven't scored a point. With um, George's crash. So Fernando got docked his, disqualified right or whatever he just got a time penalty 30 seconds or whatever it was and three license points yeah the thing is george if that was if that actually was what stopped george from finishing mm. do they get compensated anything because you could argue no. that they say that's that's kind of uh annoying mm. because as much as it's fun to make fun of george crashing into the barrier on the last lap mm. theoretically he would have finished and he would have got those yeah. points. 
Well, you st- you think about like um, wh- when science drove over the manhole cover in Las Vegas last year. Yeah, and that ripped apart the bottom of the car. They lost a, a chassis that comes under the cost cap or whatever. They lost an engine, so he had to start the race with a in the pit. whatever it was the engine penalty, like ten place grid drop or whatever it was from that. And yeah, if I, they're like, well, it's not our fault. Like we just lost a million dollars out of the cost cap because the, and they were just like, mm, no, yeah. no problem. Oh, that, that so, was probably one of the worst things because, and you yeah. can tell if that was any other track, if that was in Australia, you could tell they would have just ripped in to the organizers there because it was our, because uh, it was Vegas. They're like, <laughs> We, we all know that that was Vegas' fault. Like, they, they've they known about this for ages. It's not like they've seen a, a street circuit get made and they're like, what do you mean you usually weld the uh, thing shut? We have yeah. never seen. No one ever told us that, um, mm. you know, and I think that would have, yeah, that's because that screwed them out of a fair amount of um, construct. That stopped them from getting second, basically. Well, the second oh, yeah, was, well, you could you could have potentially made a difference. Yeah, year as well. Yeah, this is why I think, Dave, you should get if you outsmart the FIA, it's like fuel regulators and double diffusers. Mm. You know what? Fuck them. That's <laughs> if if they can do it to you and you outsmart you can them. Do it they back. Just, yeah, they should just go. You know what? Fair play. You beat us. You know, but don't worry. At the end of the year, I'm going to fuck over Ferrari because we're not welding down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> just conrods are going to go through engines you know what we're going to say oh no whoops you should have checked that on your grid walk yeah you should have driven around them yeah you, you should have done a warm-up lap in one of the little golf buggies that we have riding around I, I would imagine now they're going to do proper checks though like they'll be oh. they will oh, vegas will overcorrect this because from what oh. I don't know what you heard, but from it, it sounds like it was either the best race on earth or, yeah, it was all right. I don't know why you spent half a billion dollars on a race that could have been done in a car park, which they did 40 years ago for the same <laughs> result. Uh, that was an all right race. I watched it again. It was funny. I think hmm. it's funny and now when you watch it, just because to see how far they've come and go, that's... That's pretty funny. Oh, that's the the the, the, um, the original Vegas race. Yeah, the car park. That was, was probably a that was kiss. that was terrible. <laughs> that was amazing. Because <laughs> you know what makes it even better, Dave, is back then, and I think the good thing about F one I've noticed is the graphics match up to computer graphics at the time. So yeah, the eighty two um, Vegas trip, it had the white text, and it just said. What was his name? Keke Rosberg or something? Rosberg, yeah. Yeah, and it was written in just like awful, awful teletext font. But then you remember playing F1 back in those days and it was yeah. just that awful, awful text. And nowadays everything like, looks fancy and it's got like, you know, ray tracing and, and shadows and water and stuff. But it, it yeah. matches up and you watch it and go, this is great. And the cars look ridiculous. Yeah. And, and OH&S wasn't a thing. Uh, definitely not back then, yeah. No. Yeah, this is a different time. Oh, no, Dave, one of the pit crews is on fire. Who cares? We've got a pit. We're going to change the tyre. We'll get yeah. to him in a minute. Yeah, stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, but all, but also, why is he on fire? Oh, that's right. He was having smoke during one of the pit stops anyway. <laughs> but he'll just he'll put that out, and then he'll roll around. So, oh, yeah, so, Dave... Who's scoring more points this week, Dan or Yuki? Uh, let's go. Rob's not here, so I can say Dan. Yeah, I'm going to say Dan too. And I think yeah. Bobby also wanted to say Dan. Uh, Rob's not here, so Rob's going to say Dan as well because peer group pressure's a bitch. Yeah. And on that note... <laughs> we, uh, we're we done. Yeah. Well, um, and look, hopefully... Luke, not a minute over. Yeah, perfectly in an hour. <laughs> Thumbs up. Delayed start. It still counts. Yeah. We'll um we'll more than likely be back next week. <laughs> yep. Um yeah. We might do research this week. Maybe. Maybe. Let's let's, let's not get let's carried not, away. 
let's not start twenty twenty four with making lies already this early in the season. Yeah, yeah. We, start we still as have you intend to finish. Races. Yeah, yeah well, it's we, a long season to get through. We've got we've got forty two more races to get through, yeah. so let's uh, start slow. We'll get Williams to set it up on a um, Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> we'll write it on paper and then put it into the spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, on that note, we'll um, we'll see everyone later. Thanks for watching. See you all. I guess I don't need to start making.